Atul Sodi, who's in Atul, is the uh, chairman of the Asia Pacific Loan Market Association, which is a trade body for the sector in this region. He's also the head of Global Loan Syndication Group at uh, Credit Agricole. Atul, good to have you uh, on the program. So, what's going on in the loan space? I mean, why aren't companies borrowing right now from banks? Uh, thanks, Susan. Thanks for having me here. It's a pleasure to be here. Uh, in terms of uh, market volumes, as you mentioned in the program earlier, we've had a decline in volumes over the previous year. But that's not a fair comparison because last year was a huge year in the first half. And uh, if we compare year on year, obviously we've had a slight decline in volumes. But uh, the, the outlook for the rest of the year seems reasonably good. Uh, corporates in Asia seem to be in very good shape. They seem to be in a, in a mode where they're looking to acquire companies overseas. So I'm fairly optimistic that uh, for the rest of the year, we'll have fairly good volumes. Okay. Well, let me ask you about the refinancing risk. There's a big concern out there, uh, given that we're looking at some $114 billion, by the way, of these U.S. dollar uh, debt for uh, Asian corporate loans maturing before the end of 2013. Do you think the uh, market has something to be worried about? Oh, no, not at all. I think uh, what we're going to see this year is that while uh, there is a huge uh, refinancing uh, uh, wall coming up, uh, there are the, op the options that are available for corporates are also many. Uh, local currency markets are very liquid, so clearly corporates don't have to rely necessarily only on the U.S. dollar debt market. In addition, the uh, bond markets are in pretty good shape, uh, so there's a fair likelihood that a lot of our corporate borrowers will have options to go to the bond market, the uh, local currency markets, and of course, okay. the syndicated loan market, which seems to be in reasonably good shape with uh, Asian banks uh, and other non-Asian non banks, uh, seem to be there to support their uh, good clients. Well, speaking of non-Asian banks, you know, we're hearing a uh, flight of capital from the Asia Pacific, not only in fund flows and uh, fund dollars, but also banks are tightening up uh, you know, their credit portfolio as well, not doling out as many loans. I'm talking about the European banks and also you know, U.S. banks as well. In light of the turmoil ongoing in Europe, uh, is that going to be a problem? Uh, the reality is that bulk of the business done in Asia is uh, dominated by Asian banks as of now. So if uh, the European banks or the American banks are in, uh, are in a mood where they're growing their business or not so hungry for business, it doesn't make as much of a difference uh, to Asian corporates. Uh, Asian banks are in, you know, they're very strong, very well capitalized, very liquid. And in my view, the situation in the market is such that uh, regardless of what happens in the rest of the world, Asian corporates are going to be in a good shape, are going to be in a position to access markets with relative ease. And I think, okay. uh, you know, in the second half of the year, we'd see some fairly large transactions, fairly well done, and, um, you know, will be very successfully received in the market. All right, Atoll, enjoy the, uh, the conference taking place in Shanghai.